In this video, I'm going to work on doing the repairs to the center boards and uh, go over that and see how much I can get done on the center boards. So I hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to like and subscribe. While I'm waiting for that paint to dry, I think I'll dig into my two center boards. Just a little bit of a look at them. This one's rotted over to about here. And then rot it probably to about here. So what I think I'm going to do is rip them off and just make new ends. This has some damage down here, but I think I'm just going to take it and clean that all off and just reuse it. The wood doesn't look too bad. There's a bad spot here, which I think will sand out. And that will take care of that one. On this second one, it's rotted over four, three pieces, and then the same, about the same thing over here. I think what I'm going to try to do is uh, rip, rip the end, of this end off, put new pieces on, and then get it shaped to size. Looks like this side's fairly straight. This is straight enough. Yeah, this side's straight, so I'll work off of this side, set up the table saw, rip the piece off there, and I'll rip the piece off of this side, and then I'll take my piece of... Uh, red oak and make some strips and see what it comes out looking like. At least that's the plan. Looking at the grain, I don't think you can see it, especially on this one. The other one you can see it a little better, but the grain goes in opposite directions and it's not just a matter of flipping it 180. One grain goes this way and the other grain goes this way and it alternates back and forth. So basically, here's what I ended up with. I ended up with uh, this and this. So all I have to do is cut this length of strips and this and glue them together and see how it goes. So I think what I'll do next is I'll cut my strips out of my red cedar. I just am not 100% sure this is red cedar, but it's close enough for us guys. I got a pretty good edge. I think, I'm not sure I'm going to have to join that or not. I can run that through the joiner. We'll see how it's, it holds up. So let me go ahead and take my piece of red cedar. And I'm going to have to put it on the saw and rip off pieces then get rid of the knots and see if I got enough clear to do both. We'll see. So let me work on that, and we'll see how it works out. Before I go on, I just want to say something about my videos here and my uh, project. I'm always doing some kind of a project, but I, I just wanted to learn a little bit about doing these videos. So I thought the next project I did, I would try to make some videos, and that's what I'm doing. I'm just really trying to make some videos and something that I like doing. My next, I like doing woodwork, that's the main thing I like to do, but I just wanted to pick an easy project, something that would go fairly quickly, and something that I wanted to learn how to make videos. So if you're watching this, I appreciate it, and I hope you get something out of it. And uh, I appreciate it if you would subscribe, if you get something out of it, and wait for the next video. It doesn't hurt nothing, you can always unsubscribe later. 
and uh, I hope you enjoy what I'm doing, and I hope I get better. I'm learning. I have an old camera. I can't see what I'm recording, and I realize that making these videos is a lot harder than it looks. So uh, I'm going to keep trying, keep plugging away, at least till this project's done. I don't know if I'll do the next project. I have some other stuff I'd like to do, but we'll keep trying. And I hope you enjoy the videos, and uh, keep a doing these until I'm done this one project. So thanks for watching, and if you subscribe, I'd appreciate it. it gives me encouragement. All right, so far I've got the boards glued together on my center board, and I've come to the conclusion that this is mahogany. And I put on red cedar on the two sides. Don't think that'll be a problem. I don't think it'll sink me. So we'll see what happens. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fair it out, I'm going to sand it out, and try and get it looking nice. Fair out these edges. It's got some really rough edges on this end here. We're going to work on that. There's a little bit of an open seam. I can't do nothing about that. And I'll round this off and fair this off and uh, come back when I get that done. Unfortunately, it just takes too long to set the camera up just to do five minutes here, then set the camera up and do five minutes there. So as of right now, I'll just tell you what I do and come back and uh, uh, show you the progress as we go. But I glued those boards on. They, they held pretty good. I got one done. I still got the other one to do. I'm going to take a plane, try and plane them semi-flush, run them on the sander, clean up some of these edges, and we'll see what it looks like after I'm done that. All right, I was going to try and get this in one part, the center boards, but I think I'll cut it in two. I just have too much more to go. So you see I planed it, fared it a little bit. I still got a little bit more to do, but not much. I sanded it down. And uh, kind of fixed this edge a little bit. I'll maybe get that a little better, but it's not that big a deal. And in the meantime, I'll work on that second one. I'll get the second one done, then I'll start a new video putting the finishing touches on it and putting the handles on and what I learned about those. And uh, we'll do that in another video. So thanks for watching again.